The number one question that I get asked is how do I create the speed ramp? And so the gatekeeping ends today. In this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to create the infamous smooth speed ramp for your real estate videos. Today, I'm revealing the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create the smooth, seamless speed ramp transition that has seemingly taken over the real estate video industry. Now, this tutorial is going to be specific to Final Cut Pro. However, it is also achievable in DaVinci Resolve and the legends over at Duoco Media have made a full editing tutorial breakdown on how to achieve the speed ramp in DaVinci Resolve. So if that is your editing software of choice, I would highly recommend that you go and watch their video. Now, before we get into creating the speed ramp, there are two effects that you're going to need. And lucky for you, they're both free. You are going to need the free zoom transition and the free motion blur, both from Ryan Nangle, which I have linked below. All right, without further ado, let's get into the good stuff. All right, here we are in Final Cut Pro, and I'm gonna be sharing with you examples or variations of the speed ramp, starting off with the basic zoom in, which looks a little bit like this. All right, let's get into it. So here are the two clips. We have clip one on the exterior pushing in towards the house and we have clip two now on the interior. Now it's very important that we get as much distance as possible to make this effect look super seamless. So I, as you can see, I started way back at the edge of the sidewalk, pushed all the way forward, all the way to the door pretty much. And inside, same thing, started with my back against the wall, push all the way forward and I went even further, but I probably don't need that much for this clip anyways. Now, both of these clips are at 100% speed. They were shot at 60 frames per second and this is a 24 frames per second timeline. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hit Shift A, which I have uh, shortcutted to automatic speed. So that's gonna slow each clip down to 40%. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the blade tool and I'm gonna select where I want the clip to start speeding up. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna hit Shift B. That's gonna make a blade cut. I'm gonna go onto this side, the side that I want to speed up. And we're gonna to go to fast, change that to 20 times speed. So after that, here's what our clip looks like. Going and bam. Now obviously that looks terrible because this clip is back to 40% speed. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna find where we want the clip to start slowing down. So we'd speed through this and probably slow it down about here. So same thing, shift B to make that blade cut. Go to this side, fast 20%. So here's what that looks like. Pretty crazy, not super dialed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in a little bit and here on these sliders, we can actually smooth out the ramp. So here, as you can see, when I get close, my cursor changes. I'm gonna click and slide that all the way back. Same here, click, slide that back. As you can see, it's moving, so it's smoothing that out. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Smooth that out, drag that out, same thing. Looks pretty seamless already, just as those two clips. Now let's add the effects. We're gonna come up here to our titles, and here I'm going to search for zoom. I'm gonna find zoom one. Again, these are the Ryan Nangle transitions or titles linked in the description to pick those up. Zoom one is going to go at on the first clip, and you're gonna align that up with the cut. Zoom two, same thing on the next clip, line it up on the cut. So now if we take a look at this, Right, we have just a little bit extra emphasis on that zoom in effect. Now we're going to add the motion blur. So I'm gonna search motion. It's going to be this one, moderate motion blur two. I'm gonna drag that. I'm actually gonna drag it a little bit over here and a little bit over here. I'm gonna to switch to proxy only um, just to make sure 
that we get a smooth playback. So there you go, that is the speed ramp. That's how you do it. That is the secret sauce to all the people that you see doing these really crazy speed ramps. It's actually a lot simpler than it looks. You can take these principles and apply it into every single other speed ramp that you create. So that being said, let us move into example number two, which is the reverse curve ramp. All right, let's get into the reverse curve ramp. This one I find is super fun and it feels super seamless when done correctly. So we have our two shots. So let's get into editing these clips. First off, we can see that we're still at normal speed. And so we want to get that to 40% um, speed. So like I said, I have mine mapped to shift a automatic speed, turn that down to 40%. If you don't know how to do that, or if you don't have that mapped as your keyboard shortcut, you can go over here to the retime editor, and then it's just right here, automatic speed. Boom, we're at 40%. Now, like the example showed, and like I've been saying, this is gonna be a reverse. So I'm gonna select both these clips and I'm gonna hit Shift W, and that is reverse speed, All right? So as you can see, because these clips are curving in the same direction, it looks smooth, it looks clean. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing as we did in the first one. We're gonna kind of find out where we want our clip to actually start speeding up. I don't know, let's say maybe here. We see the island, shift B, come over here, select that drop down, reverse fast, minus 20 times. Same thing over here. It's going to launch super fast. It's going to launch us into this clip. Now with this clip, we want to go pretty far because we want to reveal a lot of the space. So I'm actually going to come all the way back to here, shift B or use that blade tool drop down, reverse fast, minus 20%. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Obviously pretty slow, pretty jarring, not super smooth. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slide these sliders back and you can see right here where that cut happens, how it's moving, we're pushing that back. Same thing here, smooth it out. Now let's take a look. Pretty good. This clip goes on a long time. So what I'm gonna do is right where this cut is, if I actually double click this, I get this little menu pop up, source frame, we're gonna hit edit. Now it's changed, now I can actually click and drag this and I can adjust when I want the clip to start speeding up. So I want it to speed up sooner, so I'm gonna drag this back. So here we go. That looks a lot smoother, it's a lot cleaner, it happens faster. I'm gonna do the same thing with this clip and I'm actually gonna, I want more of the space, more of the clip to pass by. So I'm gonna drag that forward so you can see the clip shortens up. Boom, super smooth, super seamless. And fun fact, neither of these clips have stabilization on them. That is just how smooth, that is just how dialed I am on the shoot. And that's what really sells this effect, smooth footage. Now, the zoom effects are obviously a zoom in. If we were to put the zoom in on a reverse clip, it is going to look super weird. But we can actually add the zoom in too onto the back end or onto that second clip because just the way it was designed, it is a little bit of a zooming out effect. So here's what it looks like with that effect on. Now we're gonna go back. We are going to get our motion blur, moderate motion blur two, drag that over. I always put the motion blur over top of any of the effects because then it adds that motion blur to the zoom effect. So there you go, that is the complete breakdown on how to create the smooth speed ramp transition for your real estate videos. Feel free to get creative with these. There are countless ways that you can utilize the speed ramp in your videos to make them more unique. Now, a little disclaimer, it is very important to know when to use the speed ramp and when not to use the speed ramp. Just because you can doesn't always mean you should. The speed ramp is just a tool and it's not gonna make your videos better 
overnight, nor is it going to make you more money. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And with that all said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.